In September 2011, police in Luoyang City, Henan Province, China, suddenly received a phone call with a panicked and scared voice from a woman claiming to be Tiu Ma. Ma said that she and three other women were kidnapped by a man named Li Hao and kept in a deep basement that this man dug himself for the past two years. They were kept under house arrest and forced to satisfy Li Hao's desires and were only allowed out when helping this person visit to make money. The girl named Mea on a visiting trip took advantage of Li Hao's absence and secretly called the police. According to the clues provided by Ms. Ma, the police quickly found the place where she was selling sex. In addition, two other girls, Tiu Oan and Tiu Ha, were also being forced into physical transactions. Police also discovered suspect Li Hao, but he fled. Based on the three girls' instructions, the police found the hell cellar, where they were imprisoned for a long time and rescued another trapped woman, Tiu Jiang. Information from the police said that the basement where the victims were held was located in the garage of Li Hao, a technical supervisory member of the Luoyang City Law Enforcement Company. To get to the basement, one must pass a vertical well 3.4 mallers deep and 50 centimeter wide. Next, you have to crawl across a 50 centimeter high and 4.7 mallers long horizontal path. Finally, we had to go through five layers of locked doors to get to the room where the victims were held. At such a depth, even if the victims called for help, no one could hear them. In addition, suspect Li Hao also connected two ventilation pipes to ensure oxygen for the girls. The narrow cellar is only about 20 square meters and 2.4 meters high, divided in two by a wooden board, with a bed, gas tank, thermos, and even a computer for the victims to spend the day entertaining. Even more shocking, the police discovered the bodies of two other women in a shallow grave in the corner of the basement, right next to the bed where the girls slept and had fun with Li Hao. Nearly 20 hours after the arrest warrant was issued, Li Hao was arrested as he was about to leave the city. From here, the investigators were surprised and shocked at the calculating and sick plan of a man who on the outside seemed sincere and kind. What's even more strange is that most of the victims, when giving testimony, had him protect Li Hao. Li Hao was 34 years old at the time and declared that he had a wife and son. In 2008, Li Hao bought a garage and started digging a tunnel. Excavated soil is packed in nylon bags and transported by motorbike during the day. Because he often had to dig at night to avoid his wife's suspicion, Li Hao lied that he had found a job abroad and had to be on duty in the unit at night. In October 2009, when the Earth Palace was completed, he began carrying out his cruel and sick plot. Every evening he dresses luxuriously and goes to karaoke bars, spas and massage parlors to search for prey. Li Hao continuously deceived the above six women, aged 18-23, in many different ways, took them to the cellar and imprisoned them there, then continuously raped the victims every day. During his imprisonment, there was a victim who resisted fiercely and was strangled by Li Hao. Another woman could not endure such a life and intended to escape but was tortured to death by Li Hao. Two women were buried in the corner of the tunnel near the bed. After that terrifying incident, the remaining victims no longer dared to resist or flee, and at the same time began to obey and even tried to satisfy Li Hao. Over time, Li Hao became the emperor of the underground palace, causing the female victims to fight and compete for favor. Police said Li Hao seemed to have brainwashed the victims, telling them whatever they wanted. Life in the basement was all in a state of nudity. The victims all volunteered to become his sex slaves. Sometime later, Li Hao forced the victims to chat naked over the internet for personal gain. To prevent victims from taking advantage of naked conversations to call for help, Li Hao always stayed by his side from the beginning until the end and received chat money through the phone application. The price of such a conversation is 100 yuan hour. This source of income cannot satisfy Lai Hao's craving for money. He began forcing his victims into prostitution. Tiu Ma is the sixth person imprisoned by Li Hao. She was imprisoned for more than two months. She was not completely brainwashed and was always looking for opportunities to escape. Finally, one time she was taken out for prostitution. She secretly used the customer's cell phone and called the police to be rescued. Only then was Lai Hao's evil and illness revealed. In November 2012, Lai Hao was sentenced to death for rape, murder, prostitution organization, and illegal detention. In January 2014, Li Hao was executed by firing squad in Lakduong City. 
Among the four girls who survived in the basement, one victim had serious psychological problems after being picked up by her family. She lost the ability to use language, was afraid of light, and was confused all day long, unable to determine direction. Those who viewed the case file were haunted and had insomnia. I have never had to handle such a cruel case in more than 10 years of practice, a police officer shared after finishing the investigation.